I'm Alexis with the Tryon Creek Watershed Council here for Together for Watersheds to film a video to show you my favorite things about banana slugs. Banana slugs are detritivores, meaning they eat dead and decomposing things, uh, which is a really important role in the forest ecosystem to change our decaying matter into nutrients. Banana slugs have two pairs of tentacles, an upper pair, you can see that little optical dot there as well as a lower pair that they use for sensing. You also see an abundant amount of slug slime on my fingers. Uh, that is a really good deterrent for predators. At like all gastropods, which are snails and slugs, they need moisture to stay alive since they're made of mostly water. Their slime also helps them to move around. The debris that it glides over, the little pine needles and whatnot, actually get left behind in the slime underneath them. Towards the front of their body, you can see their mantle where they can withdraw their tentacles if they're threatened. And you can also see the hole uh, that reaches their one lung and reproductive organs and digestive tract. The length of their body is called the foot, which is one strong muscle that helps them to move. And the little vertical lines at the base are called the, the skirt. Banana slugs are the second largest slug in the world. They can get up to nine inches long. So snails actually secrete their, their shell from their body. They are totally and utterly connected. Works a lot like rubber cement. Just roll it into a little ball and it'll flick off pretty easily. I promise. <laughs> 